Hi, I'm Jack from USB Typewriter, and I'm going to show you how to turn your old Underwood desktop typewriter into a USB keyboard using the USB Typewriter Kit. In order to make the installation of the kit easier, we'll first be temporarily moving the typewriter spacebar out of the way so that we can access the underside of the typewriter more easily. Simply unscrew the two screws at the very front of the typewriter, then pop out the brackets that hold the spacebar in place. The spacebar will still not swing all the way down, so you'll have to loosen the third screw near the back of the machine. Once the spacebar has been repositioned, tighten that screw again so that the spacebar will not move while we work. Next, we have to remove the crossbar, which is a swing arm that extends into the typewriter. First loosen the set screw shown here, then pop the swing arm out of place. Do the same thing on the opposite side of the typewriter. Once both arms are detached, you should be able to fish the crossbar out through the side of the typewriter. It might be a little bit tricky, and it takes some finesse, but you'll get it. Next, we have to attach our electronic contacts to the crossbar we just removed. Set the electronics on the table, and then insert the crossbar, making sure that it's clean and free of grease. With the circuit board in place, you'll notice that it naturally forms a 45 degree angle. Tape the crossbar down so it doesn't move, and then flatten the circuit board's contacts against the circuit board. This will make sure that they are snug against the crossbar during the next step. Using a hot glue gun, lay down a thick bead of hot glue all the way down the length of the contacts. Once you've laid down the bead, wait 15 to 30 seconds for the glue to dry, and then begin patting the contacts down flat against the circuit board. If the glue is too hot, you may instead decide to use a butter knife. Don't worry if you get any glue on the contacts, you can always wipe it off later with alcohol, or simply reheat it and then wipe it away. This is what the circuit board should look like when you're done. Note that the circuit board makes a 45 degree angle with the crossbar. Unfortunately, the backspace key is going to get in the way of our installation, so we'll have to move it. Once you've identified the backspace key, mark a line in the part where it bends. Then, you can either use a hacksaw or a Dremel tool to cut the bar in half. Then, remove the excess piece. Don't worry, we're going to restore the backspace key to its normal functionality. Take some pliers and bend the backspace key over to the side of the typewriter. When you're done, it should look something like this. The backspace key will still function normally. To restore the original aesthetic of the backspace key, you can glue on the original keycap. Next, use sandpaper to scratch off the paint from each key exposing the shiny, electrically conductive metal underneath each one. I like to use 80 grit sandpaper and remove about 2 to 3 inches in length from each key. Now it's time to reinstall the crossbar. But first, notice that the bar that we mounted to has a little bit of wiggle to it. To remove the wiggle, locate the set screw that's all the way on the right hand side of the typewriter, and then push it tightly against the frame of the typewriter, and then re-tighten it. You'll notice the wiggle is gone. Next, reattach the crossbar into its original position, but this time put it underneath the typewriter instead of inside of it. Make sure that each key, starting with the Q key, lines up squarely with the gold-plated contacts on the circuit board. If they don't line up, you'll have to reposition the crossbar. To make sure all the contacts press firmly against the keys, we're going to install a spring that pushes against the crossbar. Remove the set screw from the piece that holds the crossbar in place. Then screw in the spring, making sure you use the special washer provided. The spring should clip onto the arm of the crossbar. As you tighten, use your finger to apply a little bit of tension. With the tension applied, the spring should snap back into place every time a key is pressed. Next, take the plastic bumper from your kit and add it to the tabulator key. 
This will prop the crossbar back away from any keys that are not being pressed, and make sure that they don't register accidentally. Now that the key sensing circuitry has been installed, we can return the space bar to its original position. Loosen the screw at the bottom of the typewriter, and then swing the space bar up into its original place, and re-tighten that screw. You should then reattach the two brackets that you removed earlier. Now we can attach the main control panel to the typewriter. But first, stick the four rubber bumpers onto each of the four white dots on the back of the control panel. Once the bumpers are stuck in place, add a bead of glue to either side of the circuit board. You don't need much glue. Once the glue has been applied, flip the circuit board upside down and then attach it upside down to the right side of the typewriter. Now, take the ribbon cable that runs to the other circuit board and attach it to the connector on the main control panel. It should click into place. For the final step, find a screw on the typewriter that you can remove easily. I like to use this one in the back. Once the screw has been removed, use sandpaper to scratch away the paint and again expose the metal underneath. Once the metal is exposed, take the green chassis wire and put the original screw through the lug. Then tighten the original screw back into place. To connect the green wire to the main circuit board, First, identify the hole marked C and loosen the screw on that hole. Then, insert the stripped wire into that hole and retighten the screw. The wire should stay in place by itself. Now that you've installed the sensor panel and the main control panel, you're almost done with your project. The only thing left to do is to install sensors for the spacebar and the shift key. You can learn more about that by clicking the link below. Thanks for supporting the USB typewriter project and thanks for watching.